Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, that's correct. I no longer look like a homeless gentleman. My uh. glow up is so real. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel. Do it right now. Thanks. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, I'm a guy. Yeah, I'm a pretty, pretty manly man. I'm a real guy's guy. And when I'm not drinking beer or going fishing or walking into a room swinging my cock around, I like to have a good laugh. So thank God I found the Instagram page, Guy Humor. Guy Humor, entertainment website. Probably not your girlfriend's favorite website. Hmm, it's an Instagram page. Now, just a word of warning before we check out this Instagram page. I understand that guy humor is not for everybody. I know it's super edgy. It's very offensive. So if you are triggered by just the blokiest bloke, guy guyest humor, you need to leave right now because this is guy zone only. Unless you're a girl with big boobies, well, <laughs> because guys like me, we love that. So you can stay and uh, why don't you grab us a beer? <laughs> I actually don't think like that at all. Please do not hashtag cancel me at all. This is just a bit. I am very, very inclusive and respectful, don't cancel me, please. Hmm, you would be better off sandpapering a lion's ass in a pair of pork chop panties than being caught on the other side of this fence. Uh, what, what? You left the toilet seat up. Uh, hello? <laughs> what about all your beauty makeup stuff, ladies? Oh, man. So rude. Where am I going to put all my power tools? Oh. And let's not forget the fact that leaving the toilet seat up is kind of gross because it's a so unhygienic. It's toilets. Summertime means you'll usually find me in the yard drinking beer, grilling, and being an asshole. Yes, that's right. Nothing says being a guy more than standing in front of a barbecue with a sausage. Just, just talking about guy stuff, man, like boobs, guns, beers, uh, cars, uh, UFC, um, <laughs> you know, just, just guy stuff. And one thing that I've noticed is guys really love referring to themselves as an asshole. It's like they have to create this persona for themselves. That's like, mm, I'm an asshole, man. You would, you wouldn't like what I say. I say very, very offensive stuff. I say it like it is. Whereas other people are just like, uh, you're just a dude, man. Like, I, it's fine. Like, you're not, you're not that bad. It's fine. Some days just are better than others. And, oh, perverted. You creepy. How to be an adult. Uh, dress like you're from the 1700s, first of all. Pay your bills. Don't smoke meth. Keep a few close friends. Wear deodorant. Mmm. All right. I'm going to call BS on that one because I'm a guy. I know a lot of other guys, and I can tell you for a fact that guys don't always wear deodorant. Not me, though. I'm a true adult. I am adulting so hard right now. I keep very few friends. Zero, to be exact. The bill stuff I'm working on, but we don't have to get into that right now. <laughs> it's... it's it's irrelevant. <laughs> How to be an adult. Yeah. Dress like Tom Hardy from Lawless. I'm the best man at my buddy's second wedding. Is it appropriate to open my dinner speech with, welcome back, everyone? Um... Yeah, I guess so. I don't think anyone's really gonna care. Oh, how's this swag? Uh, make America not a bunch of C-U-N-T-S's offended by everything again. Hey, if you wear this hat, you are an idiot. Yep, someone wore that hat. Before you judge, 90% is underwater. <laughs> oh, yes. That one's a bit naughty, isn't it? Fact, drinking beer every day is healthier for you than being dead. Uh, it's true, but... Also not true. How's this for a classic meme format? The wife said she wanted to go and see Jerry Springer live for her birthday. So I got her sister pregnant. We're on next Wednesday. They clearly jacked this meme from redneck humor. Okay, that was fucking shit, not funny. To my future wife, when I die, I want you to mix my ashes in a bowl of chili and eat it just so I can tear that ass up one more time. That's gross. That's cannibalism. That's disgusting. Ugh. 14,144 people looked at this picture and said, yes, I want my future wife to eat my remains 
and get violent diarrhea just so that I could prove a point even though I'm dead. Wow. 14,144 people like this. Uh, It's gross. Today's kids will never know what it's like to back up a trailer with no backup camera while their dad is yelling at them to get their head out of their ass, ass, and hurry up. Out of their ass, ass. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure kids today are very happy that they don't have their dad telling them to get their head out of their ass, ass. Because they're just going to say, hey, dad, I've just got one ass. And why are you thinking about my ass? Because I'm a child and you're my dad and it's a bit weird. Some of y'all never he- he- held. God a flashlight for your dad and had him yell at you for not shining it in the right place and it shows. See, like, holding a torch is not an act that has just gone completely extinct because the world has gone PC crazy. It's like, yeah, we have torches. Yes, people would still probably hold torches. Yes, this is something that still happens and it probably still happens to kids. And this is weird because holding a flashlight is not exactly the same as holding a gun. So it's not something that really proves much, you know? Here we go. Oh, horny post on the TL. 10 out of 10 back massages end up like this. This is why I had to tell my uncle to stop giving me back rubs. It's just drink responsibly. Shit. Responsibility is why I drink. Okay, just completely changed the topic. Someone is an alcoholic. Hey, son, would you mind handing me that screwdriver there? Thank you so much. (laughs) (sighs) Responsibility, man. It's it's not for everyone. When women are not causing a drama, they're watching TV shows of other women causing drama. See, according to this page, women are just people to gawk at and just people to make fun of. So it's a guy humor in a nutshell is making fun of women and complaining about how much lives are made so difficult by women and also looking at women and their big boobies. So here we go. Making fun of women again. Okay. Men cooking because the last generation of mothers didn't teach their daughters shit. Oh, what? Sorry. What? I don't think one man cooking is representative of an entire generation. That seems like a bit of a stretch to me. And also, that food looks like shit. So I would rather have someone else besides this guy cook for me any day of the week. Here we go. Green eggs and goddamn look at that ass. A human, an actual human made that picture. (laughs) Understanding women, volume one. (laughs) Bro, I can honestly relate to that. Like, I didn't even finish it. Like, what's the point? Am I right? Women. (laughs) See, this whole page is just going, oh, yeah, women, they do this. Ah, that's just the struggle of being a guy. (laughs) Being single is lonely, but being in a relationship is stressful. Just talking to people is annoying. You really can't win. Wow. Who wants to be friends with this guy? (laughs) You're probably the most annoying person out of everybody and no one likes you, so that's why you're single. Any Johnny Cash fans still around? Just like a really vague attempt at trying to recruit people to the Johnny Cash fan club? (laughs) This this sounds like a Craigslist ad. Some of y'all never heard your dad's belt slide out if six loops in 1.6 seconds and it shows. How about the worst meme format being, oh, blah, 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 blah. You guys never did this and it shows. Some of you guys never got beaten by your parents and it shows because you appear to have your shit together and you're enjoying a really nice, peaceful life. This is the ultimate guy humor right here. Shit's about to get real. Lots of speed humps and a woman with breasts. Yeah, okay. Hold your wife's hand in the mall because if you let go, she'll start shopping. It looks romantic, but it's actually economic. So that's a hot tip for you guys out there. If your woman, let's just say, wants to go and buy a bag of Cheetos, don't let her. Hold her hostage because it's going to save you money and it makes you look like a total player. I don't always carry the groceries on one arm, but when I do, my keys are in the wrong pocket. Okay, that's easy. Just put the groceries down and get the keys out of the pocket. 
start again. Guys can pick up groceries so easily, it's no sweat. That proud moment in a father-son relationship when you find out he's just as much of an asshole as you are. Uh... I'm willing to bet that this has never happened, ever. 5,000 times sexier than twerking. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Not really, because, um... She kills animals for fun. If you turn off the news and talk to your neighbours, you'll find that our country is far more harmonious than you're being told. What the... <laughs> it makes no sense. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks to Rob Snyder, I now know that people shake hands over a white picket fence. That's something that the news doesn't want us to know. That feeling you get when she bends over. Ah, oh, yes, my two great loves in life, fishing and Googling at women. I'm such a guy, man. I love, I love objectifying women and I love catching fish. When someone calls me an asshole, I get this warm feeling inside because my work here is done. What? And it's another picture of Tom Hardy. He was Bane in Batman. So cool. So, so epic. Such an epic guy. When your side chick wanna take a picture for Instagram and God is looking out for you. Oh, cheating. Another favorite pastime of many guys. If a guy is stupid enough to pose for a picture with a side chick, he is not a real guy. He's a stupid, stupid guy. May your co-workers never find out who you truly are on the weekends. I, I sure hope not because I eat people on the weekend. Yes, I kill people, take them home to my apartment, skin them and then eat them. Yes, that's right, I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. I sure hope they don't find out because that's really gonna ruin my reputation around the office. I just hired this babysitter. Anyone have a baby I can borrow? Huh? Don't ever let your girl talk to another guy about her problems. A shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on. Man, Leonardo DiCaprio, that is the guyest guy that has ever been a guy in all of guys. Why do people love taking advice from movie characters? You know? I mean, they're not real. So... It's, it's, it's a bit weird. Guy humor makes no sense at all. It is so stupid. If you want a nice guy, stop treating the nice guys like shit. It's also possible that the nice guys don't have a personality, so that's why nobody wants to talk to them because they're boring as shit. And I feel like a lot of people that go on guy humor are very boring. She pulls up and says, no time to explain, quick get in. Do you get in? Uh, well, I don't know her, so no. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a sneak peek into what being a guy is really like, what kind of humor us guys really, really enjoy. And hopefully you guys really, really enjoyed this video as well. If you did, by all means, feel free to hit subscribe and maybe you can uh, check me out another time when I do a video never about that topic again because that was awful. That was so bad. I'll see you later, guys. I love you. Take care. All my fellow guys out there. Yeah, guys, rock. Woo!